Thank you for joining us today on this virtual walkthrough of the Ocean Alexander 45 Diversion Sport. Before we start with the virtual walkthrough, let's take a quick look at the video while she's underway to allow you to see the overall aesthetics of the boat as well as how she moves through the water. We are very proud of how this 45 handles on the water. She has a very soft entry when on plane and she handles well at high speeds. There is no cavitation even during a hard over. We've had captains inform us that even in three foot seas that she handles very well at speed and she gets out of the hole very well. The 45 comes standard with quad Mercury Verado 350s and has the option for upgrade to the Mercury 400 racing motors as well. With the standard 350s, the top speed at wide open throttle, which is about 6,200 RPMs, is just under 42 knots. The best cruise we found is around 5,000 RPMs at just over 32 knots with a range of 260 nautical miles. When the Ocean Alexander 45 Divergence was placed in a no wake mode at 1,000 RPMs, that allows us movement at five knots with the incredible range of just under 650 nautical miles. At cruise speeds, the Ocean Alexander 45 cuts through the waves, sending spray low and wide for a dry ride. For those of you familiar with day trips to Bimini from Miami, it's about 48 nautical miles, from Fort Lauderdale about 50, and it's about 70 from West Palm Beach. So at the cruise of 32 knots, you can easily make it to Bimini within two hours from South Florida as a great weekender with family or friends. Now let's head over to the website for the in-depth walkthrough of the 45 Diversion Sport. If you check us out at OceanAlexander.com, you'll find these incredible 360 tours for most of our models. For the 45 Sport, you'll actually see two options, a Sport and a day yacht. The sport will showcase various options, more suitable for fishing for those of you who must have that on a boat. And the day yacht will showcase options that are more luxurious and a perfect fit for the family that's looking for the most enjoyable weekend getaway. Now, right now we are viewing this on a desktop. You can also view this on your tablet or a smartphone. If you look at it on a smartphone, you will notice the goggle icon in the lower left-hand corner. So if you tap on that, and let's say you have VR goggles at home and things of that nature, you can actually tour the boat through VR lenses and move your head and walk through the spaces as if you were on the boat. So that is a very neat feature that we're quite proud of. But for this, particular walkthrough, we will stick with the desktop version as it is more uh, suitable and convenient for you to see the areas that we are describing. So here we are in the transom. You can see that there is a full walkway here. The motors aren't interrupting your walkway to get around the transom whatsoever. The aft storage here is standard with fender storage. Dive tanks, You'll also notice that there is a sink there as standard that includes hot water. Over to the side is a, also a hookup for a fresh water shower. So on the sport yacht version of this, you can see that there is an option for a live well tank there as well. And you see that there's also option for additional rod holders. The boat comes with four as standard, um, but you can add the additional rod holders if that is going to be more suited to your uses of the boat, as well as e-riggers. And before we move from the transom here, you can see here on the hard top that the sure shade is enclosed in that space. Here we have an example of that sure shade extended to its fullest capacity, which provides shade coverage for this entire space in the uh, cockpit. So let's say you're out on a beautiful day. At some point, the sun can become a little overwhelming. It's nice to be able to extend that shade out and make this a very comfortable area to be in to play all day long. Moving forward into the cockpit area, you can see that this can be an incredible space for entertainment or just relaxing on the water. 
The 45 has a beam of 13 feet, 9 inches, but with the patented bulwarks here that you see expanded, the beam extends into over 19 feet, which provides an amazing amount of space in this cockpit area. Here we see the optional bent, fixed bench seating with the table fully expanded for a beautiful dining setup. It can also be lowered and folded to become a coffee table setup or fully retracted into the deck as you see here to completely open up this space. The boat comes standard with the folded bench as you see here with the table lowered. Here is the table fully expanded into the dining setup, also showing us the carbon fiber option. So no matter what you're doing, if you have just another couple on board with you, or maybe it's another family, this area can be arranged to suit all of your needs. As you can see here in this image, both seats are facing the table, which is best for conversation and meal times. The forward bench, however, has a movable backrest that allows you to change this arrangement so that it will face forward. So when the boat is underway, everyone can face the same direction, or perhaps you are watching a big game or a movie on this 49 inch retractable TV and everyone can see that easily as well. So as we mentioned, the 45 includes the U.S. patented door within a door fold-out bulwarks. Here you can see the door within the door that we are referring to. This is standard on both port and starboard sides. So while the bulwarks are up in their normal position, you actually have a boarding gate here that allows you and your guests to easily get aboard while next to a dock. So you don't have to step aboard on the transom like most boats this size and market. You have the option of boarding safely and comfortably. And you might see a better, see that better here. So here is the expanding bulwark and here is the door within a door that will fold out like a traditional boarding gate. The electrically actuated bulwark also has a manual hydraulic backup should there be a problem while you're out. While expanded, there is also a built-in swim ladder in the door that allows for the ultimate ease of getting in and out of the water for all ages. And as you can see here, we have these poles that you could put in that ha provides additional safety measure for when you might have little ones on board the boat. Another standout feature on this 45 is what we call our outdoor galley. Here you see the TV fully extended. This will actually retract into this cabinet and you open the cover to reveal our outdoor galley. Oftentimes on boats this size, you have a small cooktop below and it's never really used since it's hard to use and cooking smells could linger below deck. We designed this galley instead out here under the protection of the hardtop so you can easily prep meals without the hassle and concern about smells and messes and everything else. This area includes a full sink, an induction cooktop, not just electric, but induction. So for those of you that love to cook, you understand the benefits of having an induction cooktop and also an electric grill. There is double drawer refrigeration and storage as well. There's also an optional ice maker to starboard under the helm seat. And that is what that looks like there. So show you some more details of this. So here you can see the stone has been removed from the sink covering. And here is the induction cooktop. Here is the grill. And you still have ample counter space for meal prep. And those are the drawer refrigerators that we spoke of. And so that is for this area specifically, but there is still a small galley arrangement below deck as well. Let's now move forward to the bow area. Here you see some very roomy, comfortable, and deep set seats. Control for the radio is easily reached here. We have built-in cup holders 
and also grab bars for safety. The forward bow also has additional flexibility. As seen here, it is a wraparound settee with a raised table, or the table can be lowered with cushions put on top and it's additional sun pad. You can see this image here was shot at night in these pop-up accent lights, as well as the accent lights below are another detail that we took from our larger motor yachts and we implemented it on this 45. Even at night with just these accent lights, there is sufficient lighting here to move in this space safely and it sets the perfect ambiance for that evening cocktail. As you can also see from this, there are nice full walkways for the 45 with nice high bulwarks. It's very safe and comfortable to move around the boat. If you have younger children on board or even pets, there won't be a constant worry of someone going overboard. Let's head over to the helm. Here we are in the helm area. There is seating for three across the helm, storage below the seats, and there's also optional air conditioning for this space, which would give you four vents under the seats and three in the helm that you can move to keep the space extremely comfortable. The captain's chair is electrically adjustable with flip down bolsters, and there is a nicely laid out dash. I'm gonna switch to the other model so that you can see the screens lit up here. The 45 comes with full Garmin electronics. Uh, there are the 8617, so it's the 8600 series, 17-inch um, screens, three of them going across. You have your radar. There's optional flare, flare camera controls for nighttime running, trim tab controls, the optional bow thruster controls, and your Mercury joystick piloting for docking. We also utilize the Octoplex system on the 45 as um, standard. It's another big yacht detail. And what the Octoplex system does is it monitors power sources for voltage, frequency, and amper amperage abnormalities and provides visual and audio alerts. It uh, includes enhanced circuit breaker functionality with no load indications and usage information with a touchscreen monitor that is user reconfigurable and very friendly to utilize. Here you've got controls for the air conditioning as well. We'll take a blow down into the cabin. Heading below into the cabin, we'll come back to this configuration in a moment. Here it is, configured with set tees and the table raised. There is storage beneath all the seats you see here, as well as gunnel storage and also a hanging locker to starboard. As we've seen before, the table can be lowered and converts into a berth. The backrest flips up, which gives you ample headroom. To port, we have another small kitchenette with a sink, a microwave, also a refrigerator, and even drawers built in to the steps. We have maximized all possible space to give you as much storage as you could need in a 45. Now we are looking at the interior cabin shown with the oak option. And this is showing the walnut option so that you can see the difference of color in the woods. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, between all of the various combinations, you've got over 400 possibilities as to how your 45 can be made to suit your needs. And lastly, we have the head. So for the A45, we actually have a full dry head in the 45 with a separate shower, which is extremely uncommon to find in this size of boat. Here you see the full shower with ample headspace. In with a uh, mirror with nice lighting, fixtures that are very luxurious, 
and even natural lighting in this space. So we, it, you would be hard pressed to find another 45 foot boat in the market of this style that has these similar finishes. And that wraps up our virtual walkthrough of the Ocean Alexander 45 Diversion Sport.